Hi, this is Will Billy Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com. How are you, world? How are you guys? Lick of the week. Lick of the week. Now check it out, man. Check it out. Going back, you know, like through the the profiles, the all the archives that I have as far as what I love to watch, listen to. Go back to John Frusciante, man. Kid is on fire. It's always been on fire. Um, this lick is actually. Uh, kind of influenced off of like what he does and what like a Nuno Betancourt from Extreme, what those guys do. But uh, coming back to a real cool break type idea, uh, it's based in a e, uh, e minor pentatonic. Uh, it's just a break with some bends, but it, it definitely builds. Without further ado, I'll show you how it sounds. <laughs> lick to build up in between things like a break, uh, maybe before a solo break or or just a, a B section or something. But just use your imagination. I'm at the low E string starting at the 12th fret with my first with my first finger. Uh, I'm playing the note three times. And then on the 15th fret of the low E string I'm using my third finger. And then on the 17th fret of the low E string I'm using my fourth finger. And then I come back to I come to the A string at the uh, 14th fret, so uh, and play it three times as well. So, all right. And then coming then coming to uh, the uh, D string with my first finger. Uh, I'm on the D string. I do a hammer and a pull. So uh, basically, what ends up happening is my first finger is on the 12th fret of the D string right here. See, and then I'm hammering on to the 14th fret. And then pulling off. And then ending it on the 12th fret of the G string. So together it's like. On the B string, at the 15th fret, I'm bending up a whole step. So when I mean a whole step, you take uh, the 15th on the 15th fret of the B string, and you, the target note is the 17th fret. You're bending up to it. And then on the high E string, I am I'm hammering on and pulling up. 12th to 15th hammer and pull back to 12th. Then bend up on the 15th fret a whole step. And let it down with vibrato. And let it down with some vibrato. the lick uh, however you want at the top because it's, it's all in E minor blues so uh, you can use all these wonderful notes you know you can... use this idea in any key the, th the first thing is to take your time because it's like you want to make the lick stand out a break is about that it stands out from the rest of the song so it doesn't necessarily have to be at top speed or the slowest speed but just it's got a certain level of confidence to it if you've ever heard John Frusciante play live or on an album or Nuno Betancourt play live or an album you know exactly what I'm talking about when the break comes it grabs everybody's attention so it's just a matter of the note choices and the phrasing and like I said really concentrate on the phrasing play it in all keys use whatever use your imagination when it comes to this you know what I'm saying um, take your time you know gradually build it up from like maybe 80 beats per minute if you have a metronome to uh, to whatever whatever you prefer um, until next time this has been Will Billy Too Fast McGee with nextlevelguitar.com now check this out man ladies and gentlemen over 850 videos for you go to nextlevel nextlevelguitar.com and check out the goods man I'm selling you over 850 videos you can check it out at your own disposal look when you're at work near the water cooler listen to those you know those people that you don't like him and hawing bust out your little iPhone and get the lick of the week on your iPhone. I know the app's there. Until next time, this has been Will Billy Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com. Over 850 videos and growing, folks. It's all about you. It's all about you and level creativity. Until next time, see ya.